let's talk about synthetic division, but the first thing we need to talk about is this division algorithm. It's, it sounds crazy, but basically here's what it says. It says, if you've got two functions, we'll call them f and g, and the condition here is that g has a degree less than f. When you're dividing, because that's what essentially we're going to be doing here, when you're dividing, you want to be dividing by something smaller than what you are, right? Typically, that's how we do this. When you do division, you get a quotient and you have a remainder. Do you agree? And the way that we write that is like this, that your number is equal to your quotient times what you were dividing by and your remainder. So let me uh, clear this up for you. This right here is your quotient. That's your answer to a division problem. Your R, of course, is the remainder that you have. And this g of x, that's your divisor. So that's like your de denominator. g of x is your denominator. Mm. Exactly. And if we write it that way, if I rewrite this, that means that if I took my function divided by g of x, imagine if I took everything here and I divided by g of x. Q of x. If I divide this by g of x, I just get my quotient. And then your remainder, and if you guys remember this from 0308, you took your remainder and you put that over your divisor, and that created your remainder piece. You remember that? Now, you may say, this makes absolutely no sense. It, it does, but the reason it may not make sense is because you're not used to seeing it this way. If I were to take this, um, say 27, Now this is gonna, let's do 27 divided by 8. If you rewrote this, how many whole times does 8 go into 27? Three. It goes in 3 times, and then you have that fractional part of what? Three over eight. Do, do you all agree with that? This is just fractions. <coughs> Stuff you know. And again, if you're not sure about this, see it up here on the side. 8 divides into 27. It goes in three times with a <laughs> remainder of three, right? What that lets us do is that would allow me to rewrite 27 to be made up of what? <coughs> well, look what, what were you dividing by? I was dividing by eight, and what did I get from my quotient? <coughs> How many times did eight go into 27? Plus, what was your remainder piece? It was 3, right? Isn't 27 equal to 8 times 3 plus 3? That's what we're going to be doing, but from the perspective of functions and polynomials in particular. Now, whenever you do division, you're hoping, you're always hoping that your remainder is what? Zero. zero. And that's what we're going to be hoping for here, because if you get a remainder of zero, that means that you have something that goes into a whole number of times, right? And the fancy word for that is called a factor. If 8 had gone into 27 evenly, we would have said 8 is a factor of 27, right? 